Hi everyone, it's Keely. Welcome back to another video. This week's is going to be a watercolor painting uh, with a little bit of gouache in there. Um, the materials I use to make this are starting out with a Prismacolor Cole Erase Pencil in Rose, my Sakura Jelly Roll Pen in White for all my highlights, Taclon brushes, I use Royal and Langnickel, Whole Bean Gouache in uh, Crimson and Jet Black, I believe, and then my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolors. Um, as always, I'll have everything linked down below um, where you can find it, the specific colors I used, whatnot. Um, I'm also going to link my light pad, which is in something tech? I don't remember. My light pad and my paper and whatnot um, down below as well. I always get questions about my light pad. Um, the reason I don't really link it in videos is because I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, the light pad itself is great, but the port has worn out very quickly, um, so keeping it lit up is sometimes kind of a struggle. Um, so I don't really list it because it's not really the best one out there, honestly. Um, I'm kind of on the market for a new one. I also want to get one that's a little bit bigger, but, you know, luxury. Anyway, um, today I am going to be doing a Q&A video. I mentioned in last week's video that I didn't really have a lot of video ideas. I didn't have a lot of things to talk about during my videos, so I just kind of played some music, let you guys enjoy, um, and I actually received a lot of, uh, requests for videos, so that was super helpful. Thank you all so much to everyone who left a, uh, request. I'm gonna try my best to get to the ones that I haven't made before or the ones that are most prevalent. Um, so again, if you have any things you'd like to see from me, feel free to leave them below. It's honestly super helpful, and then that way you guys get to see the types of videos that you want to see. So thank you again so much. Um, but someone left a comment uh, asking for a life update sort of thing. Um, and I don't really have a lot to update you on in my life, um, but I decided to do a personal type of Q&A. Um, not like weird personal, just like, you know, about me and not so much about art. I do have a few art questions in here that I am going to answer, but it's mostly about me. It's Keely Day today, so I hope that's not a problem. If it is, uh, feel free to just turn the audio off on this video, open up your favorite music, and enjoy watching me paint. Um, so yeah, I have a few questions here from Instagram and a couple from Twitter. So yeah, I'll just get started. Um, a lot of these, funny enough, were about um, Caleb and I, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, for those of you who don't know, Caleb is my husband. We got married last June. Um, so I definitely got a few questions about uh, our relationship, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, the first one, um, I'm not going to read the usernames because I didn't ask these people beforehand if that was okay with them, so... Uh, I'm I'm sorry if you're hoping your username would make an appearance, but I don't want to share anyone's username who uh, maybe wouldn't be comfortable with that. So um, this one came from Instagram, and it says, "Was there ever a point in your life where you were ever extremely depressed?" By the way, I love your art, and I'm sorry if that's too personal. Thank you. Um, well, I specifically asked for personal questions, so <laughs> um, I don't really know of one that you can get too personal with on this. Um, I have never been diagnosed with depression, and I definitely don't think that I have clinical depression, but I do think that I have suffered from uh, seasonal depression in the past, um, especially over the summer. There are a lot of things contributing to me just generally feeling like shit, but also I am not a hot weather person. It makes me very uh, lethargic. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to move. I don't like how summer clothes are. I don't like picking out summer clothes, so I don't want to go out because I don't want to wear them. Um, but if I don't wear them, I get too hot, and then getting too hot just, like, spirals me into, like, a horrible state of mind. Um, so definitely not a summer person, and especially in the apartment that we were living in this summer, um, there was no air conditioning, and it was getting up to, like, you know, 90, 100 degrees in our apartment every day, and I couldn't stand it. <laughs> um, so I definitely think that I've suffered with situational depression or seasonal depression in the past, but um, I've never been clinically diagnosed and it's not something that I struggle with a lot. But yeah, I, I do feel like I've gone through bouts of depression in the past um, and I've never really talked about that before because I feel like there's still such a stigma around, you know, depression and talking about it that I didn't want to talk about it while I was in the middle of it, you know? Um, but I feel a little bit more comfortable talking about it now, but it's just never really come up till now, I guess. 
Um, okay, next one, also from Instagram. It says, I have a question, totally not art related and perhaps very personal, but I'm curious as to why you and Caleb married so young. And what does he do for a living? Any future college plans? That was several questions, but I'm so curious about your life. Thank you. Um, okay, so let's start with the first one. Why Caleb and I got married so young? Um, I don't know. It was just kind of one of those things that uh, we both wanted to have a wedding. We both wanted to get married. Um, it, w I wouldn't say was like ingrained in us, but uh, he we both grew up with, uh, married parents. Um, his dad, his mom and dad got divorced before he was born. And then, uh, his dad got, uh, remarried to the woman that he is still with, um, and has been with since Caleb was very young. And so, like, I think we were both surrounded by, like, happy marriages on both sides of our family. Um, not just our parents, but I mean also, like, our, our, um, grandparents, our aunts and uncles, there were definitely a lot of young, happy relationships there, um, and so it was just one of those things that I always grew up thinking that when I found the person I want, that I loved, I wanted to marry them, and I wanted that to be the beginning of our life together. Um, it wasn't necessarily really for any religious reasons, because Caleb and I did live, did live together for a little bit before, uh, we got married, and it, I, didn't really, like, decide to save myself for marriage or anything like that. That wasn't a decision we made. Um, so, I don't know. It was just one of those things that I saw a lot of people in my life that I really admired, um, who had lived very happy, uh, marriages, and that was something that I wanted for myself, and that was something that Caleb also wanted, and so we decided to get married, and we figured we may as well do it now, um, while we could afford to do it, and yeah. It was a really fun experience, and it was a beautiful day, and we really loved it, and we have a bunch of beautiful pictures to remember that day by, and yeah, it was just, I don't know, it was just something that we wanted to do to kind of, like, uh, solidify our uh, commitment to each other. Not that it wasn't solid before, but, you know, just to, like, make it more legally binding, I guess? I don't know, that sounds kind of fucked when you say it that way. I'll stop now. <laughs> um... What does he do for a living? He is currently a pizza boy. Um, yeah, he also works uh, some nights as the manager at our pizza place here in town. Um, he is... we He has a lot of plans for his future. Um, this wasn't initially what he wanted to be doing right now, um, but plans kind of changed and... Um, yeah, he long-term wants to eventually be able to purchase this pizza store and own it and possibly purchase and run other pizza shops um, of this particular chain that he works for. And uh, initially he had been going to school for becoming a police officer, um, but uh, school got expensive and he started making okay money at where he was working and so he decided to put it on hold and, you know, life, <laughs> life changes direction pretty abruptly. Um, and that's how we are where we are now. <laughs> um, any future college plans? Uh, yeah, Caleb definitely wants to go back to school eventually. I, when I decided straight out of high school to not go to college and instead pursue, uh, my career online, um, I never really thought about college again after that. I, the only reason I had ever entertained college in the first place was so that I, I don't know, it just seemed like the thing to do, you know, if you want a good paying job, you need to go to school, you need to get an education, you need to get a degree, um, so that you can work at, you know, whatever job so that you can afford a house and all those sorts of things, um, but it was never something I wanted, there was never any college education that I was passionate about, um, so I just never entertained going to school after I decided to take this career path. Um, and I don't know that I ever will. I wouldn't say I won't at all, because there could eventually be a time where I would like to. But as of now, I don't have any plans to go back to school. But Caleb would like to. Um, let's see. Uh, where's the next one? How do you and your husband meet? Um, Caleb and I actually met at a Halloween party. I'm sorry to everyone who has heard this story before, because I've been asked a few times in live streams. But Caleb and I actually met at a Halloween party. Um, I was best friends with his cousin, um, not cousin by blood, but they were raised together, so they call each other cousins. 
Um, I was best friends with her and she invited me to her Halloween party when I was 14 and he was 16. Um, and I met him there and he was a shitty fake vampire. I mean, obviously fake, but I mean like, uh, he had shown up in just his street clothes and she had made him be something, which was, uh, two, uh, body paint dots on his neck to symbolize being a vampire. So he was a half-hearted vampire and I was Red Robin Hood, not Red Robin Hood, Red Riding Hood. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's how we met. And we, uh, kind of tried dating for a little bit there, um, but I was 14 and I was like, you know, I really don't feel mature enough to be in a committed relationship like this. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm a kid. Um, I want to just stay friends for a while. And he was kind of butthurt about that, but he was like, you know what? Okay. If that's how you feel, um, I at least do want to stay friends with you. So we were friends for a year and then, uh, the very next Halloween, um, when I was 15. Um, mind you, my birthday is November 17th, so I was about two weeks away from turning 16, so it wasn't that creepy, but like a little bit. Um, but I was on the verge of being 16, and on Halloween that next year, uh, he was like, hey, it's been a year, um, I still really like you, and I want to give this a go. And I was like, you know what, I really like you too, and I want to give it a go too. I feel like I'm in a better place mentally, like I can actually handle what goes into having a relationship and I want to give it a go and so we've been dating ever since then and I'm 20 now and he is 22 and yeah that's how that shit show started <laughs> um but yeah so we had started dating on Halloween I I hope that answers your question um Okay, well, I think that's all the time I have for questions. I'm sorry, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought I'd be able to get through more than that. Um, sorry, that was kind of shit. <laughs> um, I do have more questions, so maybe if you guys want to leave questions on this video as well, um, I'll include them in the next Q&A along with the ones that I have remaining. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has been watching my videos. Your support means the world. Um, thank you so much to everyone who submitted questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to catch more of these. Next week's will be another iPad video, which you all seem to like a lot. So thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!